Well, healthcare in this country is, as you probably know, about four times as expensive as it is in comparable countries. Why that's the case is hotly debated, but one former hospital president says predatory pricing by health care providers is partly to blame. Stephen Weissman is previously the president of Palm Springs General Hospital in Hialeah, Florida. In a recent piece for the Daily Caller, he pointed out that a simple blood test can cost between $10 and $400, even if it's performed at exactly the same lab. Prices, he says, are phony, and they make price gouging inevitable. How do we fix this? Stephen Weissman joins us now. Mr. Weissman, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me again, Tucker. Great so to be every, with you. Everybody, I was thinking about this today, everybody grouses about how much health care costs, and understandably, but a lot of people are getting rich from it, especially here in Washington. I personally know a lot of people who have made a ton of money off the health care drama. And so is there a connection between the amount of money that's spent lobbying on health care and the dysfunction in the health care system? Absolutely, Tucker. You can call me a cynic, but the healthcare industry spends more on lobbying than the oil and gas industry, defense industry, and aerospace industry combined. The one thing that every politician avoids talking about like the plague is medical pricing. Healthcare pricing is sick, Tucker. There's so no such thing as a market price. So why, I mean, two-part two questions. Why do they avoid talking about something as obvious as the price of medical care? And two, what do you do about it? Well, l let me just, I, I'm assuming it's, it's hard to believe that this is an issue that they're missing. I think it has something to do with the lobbying power of yeah. the industry. You're right. Everybody is getting rich on it from the providers through the insurance companies, hospitals. You, you know, you ask the price of any service, you can't get a straight answer. The only question, the only answer you'll ever get is what insurance do you have? Right. Everybody's price depends on how much can be extracted from you personally. And the, the consumer, the patient, is helpless and hopeless. We can't shop because there's no real pricing. We depend on the health care provider to tell us what our individual price is supposed to be. But what nobody will tell you is that the patient that comes right after you for the exact same service maybe paying one-tenth what you're paying or 10 times more than you're paying. And the, the price everybody else pays other than you, it's literally protected in the United States as a trade secret. You can't find out what it is. The solution, the solution is easy. Have legitimate health care pricing, just like we have in grocery stores, department stores, gas stations. Nobody would accept walking into a grocery store and finding out that everybody's being charged a different random price. The store owner would probably be charged with 50 different types of discrimination. Let me give you an example. I got a call a couple of weeks ago from a lady in Texas. And this is, unfortunately, half of your viewers have probably had an experience like this. She told me that she's been going to a doctor for years, getting a treatment that cost $150. In the past year, she got health insurance. She's about 60. Her and her husband are paying $1,800 a month the health insurance. She went to the same doctor that she's been going to for years, and he said, look, your rate is $325 now. She says, hey, I've been paying you for years, $150. What are you talking about? He says, well, with your health insurance, that's the network price. That's the allowed price. You haven't met your co-pays or deductibles. And she says, hey, just pretend I don't have health insurance. He says, no, you know, you, I've got a contract with the health insurance. That's the allowed price. I'm obligated to charge you that. And the truth is that under the current system with Obamacare, Health insurers have been incentivized to pay more out for medical care because under the current law, the only way an, ins an insurance company can increase their premiums and profits is to pay more out for the underlying medical services. Right. They're required to pay out 80 percent of the of the premiums they collect for actual health care services. So how could it possibly be that an individual can get a better price? than a health insurance company that theoretically is negotiating for tens of, th tens of thousands right. of patients. Exactly. And, and, and consumers all over the country are learning, and there's been a lot of articles written about this, that your best bet is to go to the doctor and pretend you don't have insurance because you're going to get a better price quite often than the network pricing.